Chat to you later. We'll be back here with Kingdom Hearts. Sorry, but my voice, I basically just woke up. <laughs> why are we in, why are we here? This doesn't seem right. No, no, I think we were here. Right, right, because last time was a side episode where I was mostly reading journal entries, but I did accidentally trigger a brief story cutscene, which I'll show you now. Hopefully this doesn't trigger any story things that I didn't mean to trigger. Oh no, there are gonna be cutscenes. Oh shoot, ah, well, damn it, that was an accident. My bad, sorry. <laughs> I guess I have to include this as a main story episode well, now. <laughs> just remember what Donald said to you. What? No frowning, no sad faces. Oh, I see. He's put off How because can you of be so cheerful? everything. There's still no sign of your king. Aren't you worried? I'm worried. The king told us to go out and find the key bearer, and we found you. So as long as we stick together. It'll all work out okay. It's inspiring that you trust him you so. Just gotta believe in yourself, that's all. Just believe. I mean, I'll try. That's what Peter I Pan said. I... Oh. Thanks, Kyrie. Well, I'm flying in my brain towards something. Where, where am I? Long ago, people lived in peace, bathed in the warmth of light. Everyone loved the light. Then people began to fight over it. They wanted to keep it for themselves. And the darkness was born in their hearts. The darkness spread, swallowing the light in many people's hearts. What was it they were saying before? The closer you are to light, the greater your shadow is? It covered everything, and the world disappeared. But small fragments of light survived in the hearts of children. With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. Oh, does that have something to do with the Destiny Islands? It's the world we live in now. But the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. That's why the worlds are still scattered, divided from each other. But someday, a door to the innermost darkness will open, and the true light will return. So listen, child, even in the deepest darkness, there will always be a light to guide you. Believe in the light, and the darkness will never defeat you. Your heart will shine with its power and push the darkness away. Do you understand, Kyrie? Kyrie? Oh, sorry, that was Sora, I, I guess, who said that. What's she doing in this library? Ah, oh, man. Sorry, Donald and Goofy. I'll have weird visions again. Huh? Ah, good What's morning. What's the matter? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. nothing. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I was flying in it. Well, I'm not going to tell you. Did you call me? This was that she wanted to show us that, maybe. Thanks for that, Sid. I installed that navigation gummy. But you know, the place is crawling with Heartless. Don't say I didn't warn you. Huh? Here, take this along. Transform G. Oh, thank you. That's that allows the ships to transform, which does something. What place? The new, the next place we're going to? I guess so. Wasn't that great? That happened when I talked to Sid and he went and installed our Navi G for us. At which case, because I was trying to buy something from the store. In which case, I believe we actually, the, the Navi G is probably on our ship and we should go do that. Did I have any notes? I can fly like a guy. All right. <laughs> All right, let's head out to the new world. Hold on, Donald. We don't know what's out there. Why don't we revisit other worlds first? Well, I'm sure we'll find some new items. Is that so? At a level <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stars. That's got to be the Hollow Bastion, hasn't it? That doesn't look right. That it looks scary. So has new stuff happened in these aforementioned worlds, or are just, or is that just them telling us? This is going to be the last encounter. You should probably get some items. 
Or maybe not the last encounter, but maybe they're just telling me now that um, since I've got new jumping abilities and stuff, I should explore. I I'll just have a look around some places we've already been and see if anything new should transpire. Ah, the light just got bright outside and I'm going to turn the brightness up on my <laughs> machine so I can see it. I did not hit record. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're recording now. Sorry, I can't believe I completely straight up forgot to hit the recording button. I was just all of a sudden, I was like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Sorry, you didn't must. I was, miss, didn't must much. I was just, I was just wandering around the town. Ah, but there was that whole bit where I was singing perfectly along with the music. And there won't be any music for there unless I put, record the music and then put it in after. Which I'll never do because that sounds like too much work. Right, sorry. Anyway, um, all, all that you missed with the recording, I guess, was, was Donald Goofy's dialogue there. They, they said that stuff right when we uh, exited the town. Doesn't look like there's much new around here, but I've got to do this scorpion thing now that I'm here. <laughs> I can't just walk by and leave this scorpion unscorped. Check this out. Check this out. Fire! Fire bah, 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 bah. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Mithril stone, you say? Do we, I didn't realize. Do we have any of this? Or is that uh, one of our friends? Oh, we have tons of those. <laughs> what am I talking about? For a minute, I thought that might have been one of my friend's new uh, lucky s s thing skills. Uh, right, they were probably just telling us that there's um, that that we can use the glide to get like some items we missed and stuff around here. You know what? Actually, I was gonna save this for my own time, but I completely forgot. I was gonna do it last night, but I fell asleep. <laughs> I just wanna. Uh, I'm probably gonna just wait till I get it to a safe point in Cave of Wonders here and teleport back because I wanna just go to Halloween Town where Oogie Boogie's Manor got destroyed. Now that we have the glide. There might be more we can find around there that's somewhat interesting. Oh, is that how you would get up here normally, is you would swim up that thing there? Ah, I see. Anyway, sorry, um, I'm gonna head to Halloween Town just because I know we're missing a whole bunch of stuff there, and that's the only place I can think where the where the glide would really be useful. And then I guess we'll just shove off for Hall Hollow Bastion because, or well, that's what, which is what I'm assuming this place with, is with the pink stars and all. Because I, I guess we've explored, we probably, uh, we did, we were kind of revisiting areas once they got the glide and all, um, already before, before Donald and Goofy even told us to. Oh, gliding with the Halloween costume on looks so eerie and Halloweenish. I just, I didn't notice before that like, Goofy had a giant, like, bolt in his head. I guess because I, I was, uh, had, had Jack Skellington on the party most, for the most time, for most of the time. What does the spitting mean? What, what spell am I meant to take from that? <laughs> oh, wind, I guess, you, oh, shoot. Surely wind just spins you around like that, right? Oh, I can get the Windmaster one. Okay, now that I know that. Spin! Wind! Oh no, you're supposed to do it on the same one, that's right. Ah, what? Touching them with the wind makes them angry? I didn't know that. Oh, does it hurt? Oh, is that a thing that this new upgrade of the wind does? Now it hurts people if they touch you? That's cool. Sorry, I forgot you're supposed to do the same spell on the same one like three times to get the mastery one. Wind again. Oh, thank you for healing my uh, wind, that my mana. That makes it easier for me to do more of the charades. <laughs> Yay! Ten. Does that mean make me worthy of the thing now? Yay! Mystery goo! <gasps> the mystery goo! And the arrow arts. I want more mystery goo. Please, I, I that would be great if you... Why did you leave? But that's exceptional. Mystery goo from them. Oh, most lovely. I didn't expect that. I thought it would just be the arrow arts. We should go forge something with that before we head on to Hollow Bastion. Sorry, I, I meant to go to the new place we were... I, I'm assuming it's Hollow Bastion still. I meant to go to the new place we unlocked like immediately, but I've been messing around this, this whole episode so far. Sorry. The battle themes in this game are just absolutely off the chain. And I love how uh, they, how fitting to the area they always are as well. Oh, this is one of the bouncy blue ones. If I hit you in fire while you're in the air, does that make you bounce really high? Okay, you disappeared. I messed that up, apparently. Are there any more of you bouncing somewhere around? Because, uh, uh, we know we're supposed to help you bounce high. Maybe if you- if I air combo you? Is that good? Ah, oh, that's it. You're supposed to bounce them in the air. Ah, oh, shoot, I was supposed to probably get you ten times. For anything, if I wanted, uh, some kind of reward. Ah, I'm not very good at doing it. <laughs> I'll get it one of these days. Oh, there's one more. This time, this time I'm gonna- it's a bit awkward to do in this- in the tunnel here. Ah, because they keep sliding onto the wall. Sorry about that. I only got one good bounce for you. Right, so this is what I wanted to just kind of glide around the, the outskirts of this place and see if there's any kind of interesting ledges. Although, I, <laughs> as I say that, I don't actually see anything. But I kind of figured, like, how could I be missing nine in this place? Uh, I, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was missing some kind of other set of rooms in this place. Maybe it has something to do with um, this big gap in the middle? Go away this thing here, but I, I couldn't figure out what. Can you break these rocks somehow, maybe? Screw it! Summon Dumbo! <laughs> I'm gonna stick Dumbo on these fools! Yeah! <laughs> this is happening! This is how elephants work! Yeah! Out of here with you! Oh, it doesn't last very long. Yeah! 
Now do you go down again? Bia! I think you might be invincible one of these, you know? When you're on riding Dumbo. I mean, look. Oh my god, what are you? Yeah, look, Zia can't hit me. You're just straight up invincible. Dumbo is, Dumbo is invincible, man. You don't mess with Dumbo. <laughs> All the summons are dope. Oh my god, what's with this? Oh, am I supposed to hit you while you're down? Wait, what is this thing? We should probably deal with this, eh? It's probably where all my missing stuff is coming in. Uh, I should have had more. Uh, I'm gonna get Bambi out, because I... Whoa! What am I doing? What, did, what happened to me? Oh, I think that was Goofy probably giving me more mana. Well, whatever, I'm using my ba uh, Bambi really early, but... I guess we're fighting whatever the heck this thing is. Is this one of these secret bosses I've heard about, or is this just some kind of rare, normal enemy? Hey, Bambi! Hey, come on, buddy, we're gonna take this thing down. Yes, we are. Uh, oh, uh, well, I thought we were. <laughs> but it ran away. Yeah. So you can only actually do proper damage to it when it's out, when it's split up, uh, when its souls are like split up from its body. There's no harm in uh, blasting the fire now because Bambi's gonna be helping us out. I'll heal myself. Uh, ah, come on. Load into it with fire. Oh, that's not helping. May as well just lay into it with me. Oh my god. Teching for XP. Wowie. I may as well get some of the enemies as well for fun items before Bambi runs out. Uh, ah, come on. How can I miss from there? <laughs> okay. Gonna get an item here. Spawn some more things for me to get items from Bambi for. Okay. It's gonna get us an item. Please be something good. Ow. I just gotta heal. Uh, a potion. Oh, well, that wasn't much. I You have to take down more enemies than that. Well, thanks, Bambi, anyway. Uh, I knew it's probably better if I have my friends run for this, to be honest. Ow. This thing isn't doing tons of damage, though. We're not too awful there. And fire is pretty effective. Ow. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, come on, bonk it. Okay, now that it's broken out like this. Maybe if I stand back, I can hit it with fire. Oh, God, it got back really quickly. That was unfortunate. I have no idea what this thing is, but uh, we're here now. If this thing dropped a whole bunch of chests, it would make a lot of sense. Like, all the Dalmatians and everything. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I feel like I've been feeling like I'm missing in this place, as I've said already. It would be nice if you weren't on a boulder, because it's hard to shoot fire up here. Thank you for getting closer to the edge of the boulder. Okay, I break it again, and then it loses its soul or whatever. Can I shoot it from fire if I'm staying up far away? Yeah, it doesn't do too much, though. I better do it more physical. Yeah, wabonk, 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 wabonk. You get a bunch of tech experiences for it as well. Uh, I might just summon Tinkerbell now because she sticks around until you die anyway, so. Probably the best thing to do is bring her out as early as you can so that you're healing as much as possible. Whoa! I forgot how cool her animation is and all the ethereal space and everything. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I look like a miscreant right now, Tinkerbell. Ow! But thank you for healing me. Okay, right. It's not like every two seconds that she's healing you, but she heals you in turn pretty quickly to the point where, like, if I'm if I can st keep out of trouble for a minute, then any mistakes I make are undone. Which is so it's it's I'm I'm feeling pretty lo happy about having her around, especially as someone who dies a lot. <laughs> oh, we do, have we put it down to its last bar? No, maybe not quite. And Donald just level up in AP, was it? Magic bow. Oh, I got all the. Little enemies down at once. I'm building magic like crazy here, and it can't really seem to hit me when I'm bouncing all around. Oh, this gotta be its last health, its actual health bar, right? Man, something we did just then hit it with a whole lot. I guess we're breaking bits of it off each time or something. I'm just gonna keep whacking with uh, the ripple blow. This is working a charm, especially with Tinkerbell uh, keeping me, keeping me alive. I can be more reckless and vicious and unrelenting in my attacks. Come back here! Oh my God, that's not a fun thing you just did. Split you up again. You have a thwack of this. Oh, did we get it then? Is that the whole thing? Well, God, that seemed kind of anticlimactic. Did it really just drop a blaze stone and that was it? Well, it still says I'm in combat. Oh, because I've got Tinkerbell, I guess. Well, I'll see you then, buddy. Ah, for serious? What the hell was all that about? <laughs> oh, did it just give us a blaze? I guess there was some good XP in it for us. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be any immediate way to destroy uh, these boulders. Well, I've no idea what I'm missing in this place, clearly. Right, 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 right. Let's head off to Hollow Bastion, or wherever the new place is, which I'm pretty sure is Hollow Bastion, because they were all like, Riku went to Hollow Bastion. <laughs> and Hollow Bastion's supposed to be like the last place, and it had a, a 10-star difficulty, and it's got pink stars, and it's really scary looking, and it's at the end of the map. Tinker Tinkerbell is going to be so useful, because usually if I'm afraid of a boss, I'm, I'm okay at running away. It's just that if I'm doing that, I'm not healing, because I'm not getting any more mana from attacks, right? So... At some point, running away is just gonna- all it's gonna do is stave off the inevitable. Unless you have Tinkerbell constantly healing you, at which point, it's gonna be awesome and perfect and the good thing. There must be like... Something you can do with pumpkins or something. I- I know there's something I'm missing in this place, and it's frustrating me, but you know what? <laughs> I don't wanna pity, I don't wanna hand out, I don't wanna look it up. I don't- I- I wanna- I'll, I'll just- I'll just... Mosey on without those Dalmatians for now. I hope there are 12 in Hollow Bastion. There are probably gonna be like 9. And I'm missing those three, 43 to 45 in some other place I haven't been, some secret area. Oh, there are three miss missing in Neverland too, right? And there's a white trinity around here. I shouldn't really 
spend too much time being like, oh, I need to find the secret when I haven't even done all the trinities in this place. Which I haven't because I don't have the white trinity. Right, we're all shoving off to this last place. Let's do this. Oh, dramatic music kicked up when we started flying here. That's interesting. I probably should have brought a ship that had slightly more capability than uh, this one, which is just normal lasers. But eh, it's pretty tanky. It's probably our best bet for that reason. I should have equipped this thing with that net thing. That net is so useful. And probably some lasers too. This is like a hyped up version of the other flying theme, so this must be pretty, pretty dramatic where we're going right now. Hollow Bastion seeming more and more likely. That's, just, that's the that's the sort, sort of stage that he brought with him to Smash, I believe. Which is a bit sad, in a way. Why didn't they give him Destiny Islands or something? Somewhere he likes being. I, I kind of get the sense he's not going to like being in Hollow Bastion. Somehow. Oh wow, look at all the asteroids. I hope we don't have to have big, a big firefight in this place. We haven't really fought any, like, bosses while flying before, but I'd like to keep it that way. Oh man, it's going to a whole new place now. Where in God's name are we? I could be a little more careful about getting this stuff if I were so desirous, but I'm not really worried about it, to be honest. Our score will be what it will be. But sure, there's a lot of opportunity for the high scores in this place. Oh man, I can't wait to see what the gummy ship segments are like in the other games, because I've heard they're even better than this. From more than one source, I believe. <laughs> it's like a moody version. I don't know if it's it's changed key. Like, it's if it wasn't a major key, now it's in a minor key, because I don't know anything about music. But that's usually what people do to make something sp spooky and or foreboding. That was once happy. Also, this whole time, um, until I realized that it was the rock, paper, scissors that was what those uh, decorations were, I thought it was, uh, this was a peace symbol, the scissors thing. Even though it said scissors on it, I was like, why is it called scissors? <laughs> the hand that's attached to the front of my ship, I mean, which you can really not, sort of to not see from this angle. Ow! Oh, God, I got, ah, oh, God, I flew in all three of them. What am I doing? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> I need to repair, I need to repair now. Oh, well, never mind. There we are at wherever this is. What is this? Hollow Bastion! Oh! Disembark, let's do this. I'm ready. Oh, this is where we saw Riku end up. Oh, and this is the song. I've heard this song. This is a famous Kingdom Hearts song. Oh, it's so cool! Listen to it! Gorsh, look at that! Yeah, it's something else. So this is where Riku ended up. I know this place. Hollow Bastion. Oh, this is so cool! Hmm. That's strange, because I've heard so much about Hollow Bastion. It's such a famous thing in video games. I wonder why. I feel this warmth inside. Right here. Ah, this is hungry! <laughs> hey, I'm serious! Was that a dragon? Why did that noise... Let's go. Indeed! Save point! Hee hee hee. Rising Falls. Wow. This is the first video I'm recording after Christmas, um, and I've just been eating nothing but, <laughs> but Christmas chocolate for the past two days. So sorry if I get some on my face and I don't even notice. What is with these bubbles? Oh, they put you in the water? Under the water! Oh, that's normal. Oh, they're air bubbles. <laughs> Bye! I'm going now! I guess they don't put you under the water for very long. Oh, and then they put you on top of the water. Huh? Okay, don't touch those bubbles. They're weird and mess with the very fabric of reality. There's a chest up there, though. <gasps> Wait a moment. But there's... There's stuff. I should touch those bubbles. Life G! Huh. Life being like the resurrection spell from Final Fantasy. So is it like an even better cockpit, I wonder? Let's go back onto the water and see if... I, can't, I couldn't get past these, these fangs if I wanted to, though, right? Man, it brings you back up really quickly there. That's so it's kind of weird. Maybe if I try the second bubble, does that bring us somewhere entirely different? Like it brings you to the other side, maybe? Nope, brings you to the same spot. And there's no getting through once you're there. As far as I can tell. But there's a chest there. <laughs> How dare they, they withhold this from me? I love the... What instrument is that? It's like... Not a flute. But it's a wind instrument. <laughs> Maybe it's a flute? I'm not sure. But that's really beautiful, that little line that comes in there. Ah, let's grab it! Oh, come on, Sora. I know you can! Ah, yes! Oh, I'm from here. I can even fly over to that next one. Blizzara ring! What? We're surely past that now. 
<laughs> that, that, you can get those in Traverse Town enemies. <laughs> what is with the rewards from the chests in this game? <laughs> Dimensions! Sweet. Now let's see how many of the rest of them are in Hall Bastion. I'm figuring nine, so the three pods. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. There are going to be three more pods, so... 94 to 96, 97 to 99, and then I guess 43 to 45. Weird. Why would some of them be... I guess they just, like... They were at the end of the game, and they're like, Ah, oh, damn it, we didn't put 43 to 45 anywhere. So that pretty soundly suggests that this is the last area, but are we going to get the White Trinity in this place? Oh, I wonder. Anything I... If there is 100% stuff I don't finish by the end, I, I would like to do an EX game, playthrough of this game at some point. But like I said before, it'll probably wait till we're done all the games in this collection so that I can look at the achievements without fearing getting spoiled. Because why would you... You wouldn't want that for a game like this. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Oh, I bet this bubble brings us down there. At least I hope it does, otherwise I'm going to be skipping something, like, mad. So, why is it that when Riku got swallowed by the darkness, he came to Hollow Bastion? What is it about this place? Is this, like, the the home base of the Heartless? Hook said something about it, didn't he? You know what I bet our journal tells us? Oh, wait, weird. Sora's story has been changed to this in entire different set. Wasn't there another? I thought Sora's story had another set of pages, but I guess they've just been overwritten at this point. Sora finally found Kairi Neverland, but having lost her heart, she remained asleep. Ignoring Sora Sora's warning, Riku opened his being to the darkness in hopes of recovering Kairi's heart and carried her off to Maleficent's castle, Hollow Bastion. Oh, I didn't realize this was her. I mean, I figured she was working here, but I didn't realize it was just her castle. It seems the evil sorceress is using the minions of darkness to attain something. She manipulated both Hook and Jafar. Now she's using Riku, too. Well, don't forget Oogie Boogie and... Ursula, what is her goal? Is she behind the abduction? Oh, I guess maybe you didn't have to go to those places. So they didn't put it, wouldn't put it in this book in case you didn't know who they were. What is her goal? Is she behind the abductions? Does she seek the Keyblade as well? The abducted maidens, the keyholes, the Keyblades. Somehow they are bound by fate. Sword Donald and Goofy are headed for Hollow Bastion. Tougher trials may await, but fighting alongside new friends like Aladdin Peter Pan has made Sora stronger. Now he can fly with his face! His battle won't be over until he saves Kairi and vanquishes the darkness. New characters have been added? Oh, just new Heartless, like that weird robot thing we just fought. The Chimera. A heartless wandering the streets of Halloween Town. Generally a slow-paced creature, it attacks quickly and relentlessly when angered. Armed with various abilities such as summoning gargoyles, one must use this creature's own tricks against it. I don't know what they're talking about, I just smacked it. Yeah, anyway, off we go. This seems like the place you would learn an ultimate trinity, right? You, they would get to the end here and they would be like, Now we're the ultimate test of our friendship. Why trinity? And we play patty cake or something and it makes chests appear. Oh, this place is so cool. It's like almost ice. But then it's almost more just like a, a mineral deposit. Like, a, this whole place was just, like, carved out of a mineral deposit or something. Whoa, and it's, like, set against this sunset backdrop. This place rocks, dude. No vessel. Hello? No help from the oh, man. So tell me, how'd you get here? Mm. Oh, it's the beast. This will be the, the castaway they were talking about. I simply believed. Nothing more to it. His voice is absurdly cool. <laughs> Maybe that's how what brought Riku here too. Well, he, she, Kyrie wasn't gone when he got brought here. Maybe that's not it. What's with you antagonizing random people, Riku? I mean, I guess he could probably beat him with his, all his new superpowers, but all right, show off. <laughs> Oh, I thought he killed him. He's fine. Oh no, he's dead. Oh jeez. Come on, Riku. You finally made it. About time. I've been waiting for you. I thought a minute ago you were like I didn't think you'd come. No, we were best friends. Well, they can be both. Because I've always pushed you. You did not win the goddamn foot race, Riku. There can't be two Keyblade Masters. Well, you've got a wicked knife. You don't have a Keyblade. What are you talking about? But also, why can't there be two Keyblade Masters? It's true, Master. Is that your way of saying we're gonna fight to the death here? <gasps> no, wait, hold on, but don't take that. I need it. I'm not much of a fist fighter. Maleficent was right. You don't have what it takes to save Kyrie. It's up to me. Only the Keyblade Master can open the secret door and change the world. Oh man. She's playing you for a fiddle, a violin, and a whole bass arrangement. I'm the one who fought my way here with the keyblade. You were just the delivery boy. 
Sorry. <laughs> Tell that to Hercules. Here, go play hero with this. Oh, I, I will. Don't think I won't. At least he stopped him from killing the beast. Go where? Oh, they're gonna leave you, Sora, behind. But come on, does it mean nothing to you, Goofy? <laughs> what the hell is this? Because I shoved you out of the way for that Hercules fight. No, I see how it is. I see how it is. I don't think you should be walking around, my guy. <laughs> you just got, like, stabbed by an uppity 15-year-old, or however old he's supposed to be. Hey, don't move. You're hurt. Yeah. <laughs> cool Why? it. Why did you... you come here? My two other best friends are here. I came to fight for Bell. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you don't need the Keyblade to do Why magic, do you? Can you not use the sword? Cure this man? That's why I'm here. Oh dear. Well, that's probably gonna... Oh, no way. Are we actually gonna get our fight our way back up with the toy sword? That'll be the coolest thing I've ever seen if we do. Me too. I'm not gonna give up now. Oh, that's badass! <laughs> that's cool! Oh, thanks, Beast, for backing me up here. Oh, no way! Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I can still use magic. Whatever, who cares? Oh, there's a white trinity there. Sorry, uh, give me just a minute. Am I still able to glide and all? I ah, see, sorry, you're full of useful tricks. You just <laughs> who needs the keyblade? You've got a stick and, and magic and all this. Oh, this is so cool. Are you kidding me? Like, from a story point standpoint and a gameplay standpoint and just a visual standpoint. Riku, I, I thought I beat you once with a wooden sword. I'll do it again. But also, I gotta write down this white trinity. I'm gonna write it. <laughs> there's a white trinity at the spot where Donald lost my trust forever. No, I'm joking. He's he's just trying to follow his mission. He's got hard choices to make. And we've only known each other for like a month anyway. I mean, I know we, we bonded and we had some good times, but I shouldn't really have expected them to uh, betray King Mickey's word at, at that. I bet the beast is going to be pretty strong. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> of course he is. Ooh, we got all kinds of cool stuff. Mana Rage and I think I probably want Second Wind. Who wants Second Chance? Give me Second Wind and Crit Plus. Come on, beast. We may not have anyone but each other. We may have only just met, but what is that down there? Oh, that's the save point. I thought there was there were green butterflies. But we've go both got love for the people we're trying to save, and that's enough to carry us for now, I suppose. Uh, even if you're not the greatest at hopping up these platforms. It's okay, I'll teleport you up here when we get to this next room. Vroom! Castle gates. Woohoohoo! <laughs> Swanky! First class! I like it! <laughs> Whoa. Ah! Oops. I didn't know that that did that. I feel like I've seen part of Beauty and the Beast. I, I get the, the gist of it anyway. Oh man, this looks... You know, I was talking about Dark Souls all the time, but this looks a hell of a lot like, um... Uh, I think Anor Londo is the place I'm I'm thinking of. The, with just like, it just this absolute... This stretch right here with all the, the sort of bathed in sunset look and all the, the sort of polished tile and the... Get away! What is that thing up there? It looks like the, the Void Eye from... Uh, 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 damn, uh, Tales of Zestiria. That one that killed me a billion times. Stand strong. Is this my all? <laughs> and very quickly, oh, the, the battle music here is cool too. Anyway, this stretch here where there's this closed gate and all reminds me of uh, Dark Souls. Surely we can just fly around this. <laughs> like a closed gate's not gonna stop us. Oh, sorry, beast. You've got it. You've got it. Just work your way along. There you go. His cape looks super cool. So what's this do? Bring an elevator up or something? I get nervous whenever it starts mo doing that. So can you, like, fall off and die here? Oh, you absolutely can. This is, like, the only place in the game where you can fall off and die. Or I assume it hurts you anyway. Oh, dear, there's stuff going on down here. Uh, we can walk on water around here, though, right? So it's not so bad. Oh, dear! That's not good. I better keep going with magic. I'm pretty lucky I have a magic build, to be honest, now that I've got this wooden sword instead of my keyblade. Ow! Of course, it means I don't get my, uh, any of my cool bonuses. I guess I don't get any summons. If I don't have- I guess I need two party members, right? So these bubbles will take us underwater. Uh, ah, and there's a little cavern under here. Let's have a look at this. Oh man, we're gonna need to do a full explore exploration of this place when we get Donald back- uh, Donald Goofy back. Didn't forget you, Goofy. I just forgot to say you. <laughs> Mithril! Great! 
<laughs> just, I can't believe they're still like, look how cool. All oh, right, I, didn't, I never ended up trading in the myth, mis, uh, mystery goo for for any mythical. Am I allowed to like go and like leave by myself now? I wonder. Okay, because I, I kind of want to mix up that uh, some mithril with the mystery goo and just sort of see if it gets us any new recipes. Hello, paper. Another uh, gummy rock paper scissors. I don't think we ever found the rock one. Can I get up here? Eh, yes, I can. Oh man, there's a whole bot bunch to explore here. I'm missing all kinds of treasure. I bet. But I'm very, very, very curious about what's in here. Waterway. Oh, this place is going to be massive, isn't it? Call. Oh! Ah, uh, hey, well. <laughs> Look. <laughs> if I ever did anything to anger you in the past 12 minutes we've known each other, I just want you to know I didn't mean it, alright? I We're, we're great friends. Uh, Donald and Goofy? Never even met them, really. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> What's in here? Thundaga G. Great. Okay. I guess these are just... We'll, we'll get there in a minute. What is this? Release. I probably shouldn't just go hitting stuff that says release without looking at it. Ah, I see. How long do you suppose that sticks around? Forever? Okay, this probably gets the other one. Which I suppose we don't really need if we can fly, but... <laughs> Whatever. There's another one here. What's this do? Dis makes that disappear, or... Or it almost did, anyway. Or did it move it? Where did we even come in in this room? I'm already lost and confused. Do, 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 do. What the hell did we come in in this place? I can shove this. Ooh. But I... I where the hell did we come in? <laughs> I wanted to go back to that other room. You know, I was complaining at the beginning of this game that the camera felt, like, really drunken and slow, and I didn't notice it for the rest of the game until just now. But I guess it's just because this is one of the few uh, big open areas we're really exploring. Oh, maybe this will let us climb up to a spot where, well, that didn't seem to do anything, actually. Oh, this, this is right, this is an elevator. Sorry, I, I, I got confused about what that was. There we go, we're back here. And I was trying to find my way back because, regrettably, we're all out of time right about now. So I'm gonna have to end this episode off here, but I did just want to go back and see if I'm allowed to go back to other worlds and stuff at the moment. I most certainly am not! Very good, so that's where this episode's gonna have to end. Well, I, I, you know what, I can't say I was expecting that to happen, but it makes plenty of sense that Donald and Goofy, I mean, I can't blame them for, for making, for, for leaving him. Well, I, I know it's not what I would have done. See, there's something about leaving a 10-year-old unaccompanied. No matter how powerful, that just wouldn't sit right with me in Donald and Goofy's position. Especially not in a place ho crowding with monsters that want him dead. But <laughs> I understand for, for the purposes of, of fulfilling their promise to, uh, to King Mickey why they would uh, uh, have left him there. And I think it wouldn't be fair of me to, to be angry at them for that. Even though I'm, I, I do, I'm, I'm feeling a little hurt. But damn it, we got a toy sword and we've got friggin' magic and we're gonna get up there and we're gonna find those rascals and we're gonna tell them that... Well, we're just gonna hopefully talk some sense into Riku because man, this is, this is... Like, you know what I was saying before about how at some point this is gonna blow up in his face? The blow up in Riku's face part of this story is imminent, I feel. Like, I... I I just, I feel awful for him because he's been, he's just been absolutely desperate to get Kyrie back and, and to sort of dead. I feel like even if he somehow gets, gets her heart restored here, she's going to be pissed at him for everything. Because she's been sort of watching along with Sora's journey, we think. So, he's going to have done all this and sacrificed all this and hurt so many people and then it's, it's not going to have been worth it. And I feel like either he's just going to break down and be like, I don't know who I am anymore. And Sora's hopefully going to talk, just like support him through that. Or he's going to be like, it's your fault. And <laughs> go and try and kill us. So there's 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 something coming up that we're not gonna like. Is my feeling? Oh, beast! Sorry, I've let you down on the water by yourself. That wasn't my intention. We gotta stick together. We you wouldn't betray me if King Mickey asked you to, right? Good, good, good. We're best friends. That's over now, though. Next video up on the channel. I'm so excited because um, Hat in Time, which you may or may not know, is one of my favorite games ever. I tend to think fourth favorite, but I don't have a really a concrete list. Has some limited time winter uh, events going on. There's more death wishes for us to play. So I was hoping to just do one video uh, of where I just clean sweep, do them all at once. That said, death wishes are usually friggin' hard. So <laughs> I, it might take me more than like an hour or two, but I'm gonna try, dang it. And next time here, we'll be back in Hollow Bastion. Um, it, it seems like it's gonna be pretty big, so I don't know how far we'll get, to be honest, but I'm gonna do my best. This is such a cool sequence. It was a whole bunch of stuff I wasn't expecting. The, the Donald and Goofy to kind of ditch us. Us to get the beast on our party and then to, to have the Keyblade answer to Riku and we now we have to fight with the wooden sword. So now all of our Keyblade upgrades are gone and we can't do summons. And it's this whole big dungeon and everything. It's so cool. Oh, there's a chest down there I missed. Is there a bubble around here? Anyway, we'll deal with that next episode. Thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I'll see you around. I'm going to be out of here now. Peace! I don't know if there's any funny business.